Hi everyone, this is Sharan here. Welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see how to make use of seven real world data set in order to learn the important concepts as well as the important algorithms in machine learning. Using and real world data sets can be very helpful because you would have a better understanding about the scenario, about the data set. And since there is no artificially infused data, you would be able to appreciate the natural characteristics that is present in the data set. And finally, your solution could be very helpful for someone who's having a problem. The link to the data sets that we are discussing here will be provided in the description. And the most important part, don't skip this video because I will be explaining about the data set, the various use cases that can be implemented using those data sets and various algorithms that can be very helpful in solving those use cases. Before getting into the details, for more data science related videos, hit the subscribe button and enable the notification icon. Number one on the list is housing price data set. The two popular housing price data set that are publicly available are the Boston housing price data set as well as the Melbourne housing price data set. The Boston housing price data set has very limited number of records. It has only approximately 500 records and it has various details such as the number of crimes, the size of the property, number of rooms, distance to the highway, as well as uh, distance to the nearest employment center and so on. And on the other side, the Melbourne housing price data set is slightly bigger. It has various details about the property, such as type of the property, number of rooms, built up area, land area, and so many other things about the property. Also, it has details such as like how far it is from the city and the various use cases that can be built using these data sets are, you can build an predictive model to predict the price of the property. Also, you can come up with an exploratory data analysis to understand what are all the different prices of the property and what are all the important factors that influence the price of a particular property. The algorithms that can be made use for this particular use cases are a linear regression algorithm, random forest, SVM, and maybe you can make use of any regression algorithm if you are going to predict the housing price. For the exploratory data analysis, you can make use of libraries such as Pandas, NumPy, various visualization libraries to come up with very interesting insights about the particular data set. The number two data set in our list is the mall customer data set. This data set has various details such as age, gender, interim, as well as the spending store. The various use cases that can be implemented using this particular data set are, you can try to understand the behavior of various different kind of people, and also you can come up with the customer segmentation to understand what are all the different segments of customers that are coming to the mall and the various algorithms that you can make use in this particular case or k-means algorithm or you can come up with any classification algorithm you can make use of decision tree or even logistic regression if you are going to identify only two segments. The third data set in our list is the credit card fraud. This is a real world data set. It has the credit card transactions of European card holders this particular data set has about 300,000 transactions and about 500 transactions are fraudulent transactions. This is a very special data set which is very highly imbalanced because out of 300,000 plus transactions, there are only 500 transactions which are fraudulent transactions. If you are going to come up with a predictive model, maybe making use of logistic regression, if you are going to predict all the transactions are not fraud, your model accuracy will be more than 99.9 percentage .9 because there is less than 0.1 percentage which is fraudulent transaction and hence in these cases of very highly imbalanced data set it is very important that you focus on the prediction of the anomaly in this case which is the fraudulent transaction as explained the use case that can be implemented using this algorithm is anomaly deduction or fraudulent transaction deduction the various algorithms that can be made use of in this particular use case are isolation forest, GBM, as well as HGBoost. The fourth data set is the fake news deduction. The various attributes included in this particular data set are the title, the author, the actual, the text content, which might not be complete, and finally the flat, which says whether an article is real or fake. As the name of this particular data set suggests, the use case that, that can be implemented is the fake news deduction to predict whether a news article is real or fake. The various algorithms that can be made use in this particular use case are LSTM and HGBoost. Since this particular data set has a lot of text data, you will be learning about various NLP techniques that can be used in order to treat the text data and transform it so that it can be used by various algorithms that we are choosing. The fifth data set in the list is the help data set. This particular data set has 1.3 million tips provided by 1.9 million customers. 
This particular data set has various details about the business as well as the users, the reviews, the tips that they provide. This particular data set is in the JSON format. You would be able to find four or five JSON objects or JSON files and the key, the key files that will be helpful for you are the one which explains about the business. It has details about the business, the location and the business strategy and so on. And the next one is the user JSON file, which has various details about the user, how many reviews they have provided, how helpful those reviews have been found by the other users. And the other two are the reviews as well as tips. This particular data set can be very useful to learn about the various NLP techniques which are, because it has a lot of text data attained and you will be making use of various NLP techniques in order to treat and clean all those all those text data. The various use cases that can be implemented using this particular data set are to predict a closure of a particular restaurant or to predict success of a particular restaurant and to do a sentiment analysis to understand the sentiments of the people visiting the different restaurants or different business. The various algorithms that can be made use in this particular scenario are logistic regression, if you are going to predict success or failure of a particular restaurant, decision tree, SVM and so on. So you will be able to make use of a whole lot of regression and classification algorithms depending upon the use case that you are going to solve. The sixth one in the list is the Amazon review data set. This is a huge data set. It has about 233 million reviews of the customers that are provided to about 30 different categories of products that are sold in Amazon. This particular data set has various details such as the user, the product that they are reviewing, what is their review, what is the rating that they have given and how useful it has been found by other people in the particular platform. So this particular data set is very extensive and if you are learning there is an option to download a smaller subset of this particular original data set which can be very helpful when you are training or when you are trying to learn about the different use cases that can be built. One interesting use case that can be built based on this particular data set is a recommendation system. You can try to come up with a recommendation system and the algorithm that can be made use is collaborative filtering algorithm. Along with this particular algorithm, you can make use of or you can reference many research papers that can be used in order to use various techniques that can be helpful in order to improve the accuracy of the recommendation system. Like how to consider a subset of data instead of considering all the data set while building a recommendation system to ensure that the quality of your recommendations are really good. How to set threshold and so on. There are various techniques and also you can make use of ensemble models in order to improve the accuracy of your recommendation. The seventh data set in our list is the ImageNet data set. This particular data set has about 14 million images with respect to 20,000 different categories. So this the, the use case that can be implemented using this particular data set is object detection. If you are trying to learn image recognition, so this is the ideal data set to learn about image recognition and then implement object detection. The algorithm that can be used in this particular case is convolution neural network, which is the very popular algorithm when it comes to image recognition. These are all the seven real world data set that can be help, very helpful for you to understand the various different concepts in machine learning as well as different algorithms. So it has a variety. So these data sets can be used from implementing linear regression to logistic regression, classification, and there are a number of uh, text data in order to learn the various NLP techniques and uh, concepts in, used in the NLP techniques. I hope you would have learned something new from this video. If you like what I'm doing here, please click on the like button. And if you think there are many other interesting use cases that can be implemented using these data set, please mention those use cases in the comment. That's it for now and see you soon in the next video. See ya. Bye.